rap season. Do the shirt stay rap season. And and he's do still the got shirt. Th he's do it. Do the say Terrence Crawford. Do it. Do it. Fucking say Keith. Say do it say Keith or do it say TC? It say strap season. And do it say TC? It does. All right, so it don't so say strap less. It don't say he strap strapless. less. That's your thing. He charged me eighty dollars for this shit, and the fight ain't even happening. Eighty dollars. You, you lied to me again. You lied to me again because I go get the other one out the closet when he beat Ugas. He keep fucking lying. He keep. He said he wouldn't fight Keith. He fought Keith. After the Ugas fight, he made a shirt with doors on it and Cor Crawford name with Crawford eyes in the door. Now what? What? Now we got this? Man, get the man bullshit, man. You clowning. You stealing our money. How many of these shirts you sold at $80? How many of these shirts you sold at $80 trying to tell us you was about to fight Bud next? Eh, and y'all saying, I'm hating. No, you motherfuckers is just dumb. You dumb. But y'all the same ones. Y'all the same ones get cheated on. Y'all the same ones wife just take your credit card and run a run a mess with. Fucking shopping spree. You a pushover, walk over ass nigga. Fuck Matt type of motherfucker. I clean my feet on your weak ass. You small back motherfuckers. Pussies. That's what y'all is and never be me. Never be me. For real. A shout out to Ness for talking about the situation with some masculine energy. Because I be on the same thing. Because I can't figure out. How y'all gonna allow a grown man to just flat out lie to y'all like that? Commit fraud like that? And not only top of that, it's also into false advertisement. That's what it is at the end of the day. And no Errol Spence fanatic, Errol sexuals, Errol lover, ain't none of y'all got a problem with it. And that's my problem with y'all. This is why we say you guys carry a feminine energy. Because we can't understand what's wrong with holding a man to what he says. I mean, we're in the, one of the most macho sports that there is, you know, to be watched. And we can't hold a man to what he says because I definitely didn't twist his arm to say it. You definitely didn't twist his arm to say it. Nobody twists his arm to say it. Him saying he wanted undisputed was of his own prerogative. Those are his ambitions, so we thought. Those were his dreams, so we thought. That was his goal, so we thought. And you sitting up here selling t-shirts based off the false pretense that you are going to fight a Terrence Bud Crawford. Only to sell those t-shirts, then take them down. Talk about undisputed ain't important. If it happens, it happens. I'm going up to 154. I can fight Canelo Alvarez. Blase split this, this, that, and the third. Everything but what he was promoting on that shirt. And yet, if somebody points this out or holds him to what he has said, somebody is hating on Errol Spence Jr. Question, who the fuck raised you? It's just that simple. Who the fuck raised you? That's why we are all in strong beliefs. You are a bunch of single parent raised individuals no offense to people who's been raised by a single parent and has been successful in life or contains a masculine energy no offense to you guys but we all know this energy and it is feminine energy a man should be able to hold another man to what a man says without other men getting upset that we are holding that man to his word that makes absolutely no sense none whatsoever and it's amazing. No, it's not amazing. It's funny to watch y'all scramble like roaches with coming up with excuses for Errol Spence. All this to avoid the fact that the man just didn't keep the same energy. He just didn't do what he said that he was going to do. Okay? He's not what he pretended and what he paraded to be. Nowhere close to it. It's nothing wrong with nobody calling that out and looking sideways like, what the fuck? There ain't nothing wrong with that. So I get Ness frustration. Sure do. You know what I'm saying? And he's been thorough on the whole damn thing. Because a lot of his talking points and a lot of stuff and, and how he view it, guess what? I view it the exact same way. I was starting to think that I was one of the only ones. Shit. Good guy, man. And, 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 and listen, he's just not upset as a boxing fan. He's also upset as a consumer of Errol Spence 
t-shirts products and whatever and whatnot so this is the thing people can say what they want about ness but ness dug down in his pocket and pulled money that he has to get up every day and work for and supported a who a errol spence jr that money go to who a errol spence jr so if you mean to tell me a man who reached down in his hard earned pocket full of money and pull it out to support somebody cannot ridicule or say anything or be upset about the way he feel he's been treated and lied to without you guys being upset at him the world is over with then the world is over with then because i guarantee more than over half you people to say that y'all support errol spence like y'all say y'all do y'all ain't bought no t-shirts off his website that's the funny part y'all ain't bought no t-shirts off his website Y'all ain't even bought tickets and y'all fire sticking it up. So I don't want to hear it. This man has actually spent his money. So whatever he says, wouldn't you think he has the grounds and the rights to say whatever it is that he want to say? Because it was on some hating stuff. Why would I go pay money for somebody that I hate or that I dislike? I'm not going to go put money in your pocket. I'm not going to go support uh, what you're uh, putting out here for people to buy. I'm not going to do that. That's obviously a man who was a fan of the sport and he was a fan of the idea of seeing an undisputed fight at 147 and he believed in it. And what you see is the disappointment and the frustration because he feel like he's been taken advantage of and he feels like he's been lied to. And how many times have I brought up Errol Spence and lying? All he do is lie. And if you say that's not true, you lying. All he do is lie. That's it. That's not a trait that a man's man will value or like. We despise that crap. Because nobody is twisting your tongue to make anything fall out of your mouth but you. So you can't get upset at somebody because they believe what came out of your mouth. That's my thoughts on this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.